Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Grizz, and you're watching Grizz Games, Tides of Numenera, Let's Play Day 5. Hello to all you grizzly bears, grizzly daddies, grizzly mamas, dreamers, hipsters, gamers, what have you. I'm Grizz, and it is my absolute pleasure to be playing with you today. So, without further ado, let's jump right back into it. So, before the weekend, we had... Uh, <laughs> annihilated the cult and uh, gone through the uh, gold mirror and uh, convinced Inifir to uh, end the uh, to close the portal uh, the endless gate if you will uh, on his own and uh, interestingly enough the uh, writer of that scene actually hit me up on Twitter and uh, was joining us for that uh, episode. Um, it felt really good knowing that I was able to tell that writer that um, that was one of the most powerful sections of any game I've ever played in my entire life. The writing was just out of this world. Anywho, thanks for joining us. If you want to follow me on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash grizzgames, YouTube, Grizz Games and Twitch Grizz Games. Okay, so here we are. We are, <clears throat> excuse me, back in the uh, necropolis, and uh, let's check out our journal, shall we? Okay, let's see. Open the portal to Mila Vest. Okay. So I need to find Mazov. Or Mazov. Hmm. Portal to the Mila Vest has been sealed. Oh, right. This is where the portals need to be matched up in time and space or something of that sort. And should we choose to, we can solve Ar Aridus's, um um puzzle he's uh he seems to be a much less simple character than we originally deemed when we ran into him i don't remember this orb going crazy like that before hmm. eh. yeah no it's still the same dialogues when we click on them and thank you so much for joining the stream if you're enjoying it. Um, it's my pleasure. I'm glad we're getting the community going here. I mean, that's, that's all I could ever ask for. The you and I can game together. Best buds unraveling these mysteries. Okay. So let's start by going back to the uh, first cast-offs chamber. Seeing if we can kind of figure out what's going on there. Three, four, three, one. Hmm. Okay, so we have this. <clears throat> excuse me. We have this gate. All right. That I suspect needs to be interacted with interdimensionally, if you will. Oh, hello. Putting the forehead against the door. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Mystery solved. We did it together. Oh, this is looking cool. Mila best. Who are you? Oh man, it's Paj. Whoa, epic. Epic. Matkina. You've come crawling back. 
Didn't you swear you'd never return here? Or had you forgotten? She, she promised that. Then she remember remembered that none of you had ever bothered to keep any of their vows. Fair enough. I'd kill her right here if I thought I could get away with it another time. A lot of these cast-offs are not big fans of Paj. Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting that the uh, first cast-off is still alive. I mean... Presumably it isn't as, um... Oh god. As well built as us, right? So did it have to do some shady stuff, some like something like the uh, changing god him or herself? Oh god. Am I letting the sorrow in here? Oh, interesting. Because we're a golden tide did, um, we are of the golden tides. Um, she knows that we think we're doing the right thing, and Jesus, we are <laughs> trying to. Hmm. Sometimes blindly rushing in to help people does more harm than good. And I can tell that comes from a place of experience. I have information to share. Oh, interesting. Uh, huh. Adirius. Adirius. I know what you did in Colton Village. Hmm. I was there. I was there, I actually, in a weird way, traveled back in time and changed the course of events. Your actions of 200 years ago are not beyond repute. Did you learn from them? Interesting. Hmm. Where are you headed now? Back to the endless battle. The coward. She doesn't even call him the changing one, it's just the coward. And the doggy, Pema. It's currently being adorable as hell, and there's a roadkill right over here, just laying down, totally knocked out. What crimes has he committed? Hmm. And meanwhile, psychophants and lick spittles work for him for the privilege of being destroyed. I wonder if we were to join in this endless battle, if we'd end up going against the heroes that we recruited in the bar. Or, I don't think we actually successfully recruited them. <laughs> Did we? Or we didn't successfully recruit them. Hmm. Hmm. What were his plans? Its plans, really. Hmm. The one true narcissist, huh? 
how did the first die? Hmm. Are you living the life that sat the first would have wanted you to live, Pash? Interesting. A mistake, huh? I need to find Mazoff. Adiris. Adiris. Okay. She has the qualities the rest of us do not. A peaceful, idealistic nature. She rises above our rivalries. We should all strive to be so good. Okay. Um, well... Well, the world has a way of disappointing us all. Interesting. Whoa. So we arrived in one of four gates, it looks like. I saw what she did to Calm. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. The Chalcedon. Chalcedon. So I wonder why, uh... Look out below. Above. The changing one Sideways. is not able to access this area. The changing god. The coward. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Saw a vision of ourselves sleeping under the skies. Drooling. Snoring. If only we could... <laughs> I wish I could see myself sleeping like that. I hear it happens. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa, all right. <clears throat> Touching it for the eighth time. You see a billowing pillar of burning, oily smoke in a ravaged throne room. You, your companions, and a handful of unfamiliar cast-offs lie motionless around it. Not all of the bodies are whole. Then the pillar, the sorrow turns, unfurling long claws, reaching for you. Interesting. Okay, does show meaningful visions? Okay. So we got that one. Ooh, looks like a few of us are ready to, ready to level up, huh? Ooh, uh, Cypher Limit Increase. I think that could be pretty useful. We could uh, up our damage levels with spells. Oh, yes! Okay. <clears throat> we can push or pull all creatures. Just straight up two damage on esoteric attacks. Uh, it, that would be pretty good. So this level could be about just upping our damage a shit ton. Oh, we're tier 3 right now, my god. Hmm. 
So it could be more successful in perception checks. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Heal. Oh, 15%. So if we're doing 10 damage, that's about 1.5 damage. Oh. And, I mean, the higher we go, the more useful that is. We're doing about 12 damage now, so... Uh, that's, what, 1.75 or something like that? 1.8? And it's only going to go up from there. So this might become obsolete pretty damn soon. Okay, debuff. That can make it so I can carry even more ciphers. So, Unstoppable Force now, and although, if we only get these once per tier, this might already be not as useful for us. Let's go targeting. Oh, I can go both? Oh, this is going to be savage. We're going to be doing so much damage. too excited for that. I'm like faux YouTuber excited levels of excited about that. Nah, just kidding, man. Um, I'm actually real fucking pumped. We're gonna be shitting out damage here. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's level up the other folks here. Up your speed edge. I'm even more deadly. Mm. Blinded. Ooh, wow, that's that's a pretty significant debuff. Or we can just yeah, let's go debuff. Give us a little more utility. How long does this... Oh, this can last an entire crisis. If we have a debuff on them, which we will, we can regain health. Hmm. I think a little self-healing will be good let's give her quick fingers Allegor and my boy Call indeed. Thank you, Elegant. Thank you. Okay, so I believe that I have another cipher that can increase esoteric damage. This dusty ball is wider than anything you've ever seen. Well, you've seen me, so... <laughs> okay, um... Um... Where is that?
Did I give it to someone else? Interesting. Uh, oh, here we go. Minus three resistance. Oof. Okay, let's try it on the cast off for a little bit. And uh, if shit goes sour, then we will just... Where'd it go? Oh. Oh, it's an artifact. Okay. Not a cipher. I'm silly. Um, I'm a silly man. Okay, never mind. Well, we're going to be doing a lot more damage anyway. Okay. Yes. Now. Just a cast off. I'm so tired of this world. Oh. Yes. Sorry, buddy. It's a really pretty area. I wouldn't mind uh, hanging out here for a while. It looks like all these guys are actually trapped here. This is a lot of cast-offs. Newer cast off, at least within the last century. Interesting. Huh. The automaton wasn't armor. It was a container. A container for gods. Interesting. I want to be able to help you, man. Oh god. Have you seen the sorrow? Yes. We're running out of time. Abuse the tides to change things. Um I mean, not much. Hmm. What's the endless battle like? We're worse than animals, cast offs, humans. Whether created or evolved, we're all inclined to conflict. Hmm. What do you think of the endless battle? Okay. Maybe if you gave me this circlet, I could uh, help you out, eh? Here comes the boredom slayer. Mm. 
proud of that eyebrow waggle. <laughs> More than I should be. Okay. This woman bears a toothy smile, enjoying the anger and the man she's speaking with. It's what they do. They stand here for hundreds of years, pissing each other off. You probably think if you won, then the endless battle would actually end. I mean, it's in the name, man. Endless. Mr. Santa and... Stop talking, Rayma. He spits each word, gripping his weapon belt with bloodless fingers. Stop talking, or I'll prove you wrong right now. He planned this? Ridiculous. I would have known. Ah, uh, but it wouldn't do anything of that sort. Even this argument is part of his plan. Do what you have to do, Andromus. If not for the law, you'd already be dead. Traitor. Fool. You child, she says with laughing scorn. You ingrate. Uh... <clears throat> it's not how we uh, treat each other here, folks. It's exactly how our family behaves. Get used to it. What are you arguing about? The weather? Favorite color? I mean, after hundreds of years, you probably <laughs> run out of subjects, right? Hmm. Hide from the truth all you want. Rayma says, shaking her head. You know I'm right. You know it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Neither of you actually told me what... Tell me what you're arguing about. What are you arguing about? I swear to God, it's... It's got to be colors or something. Okay. See you later, guys. I'm ready. I'm always ready. Petulant dorks. Oh, here we go. Here's a Darius. All right. Hmm. So, what is the negative fettle that Matt Kina has on her? Oh, okay. Yes. So it seems like debuffs from artifacts and whatnot are something somewhat important to keep track of. Because there are so many abilities that compound negative fettles. I wonder if there are abilities that... Uh, counter positive fettles. Hmm. This structure wants us to touch it. Boop. To come inside, to yield and fall to the earth, exposing your softest parts to... Yeah. Oh. It's an attractant. A, maybe a trap of some sort. Let's touch it. Curiosity killed the cat, huh? Whoops. That's just like... Die. Killed the shit out of us, didn't it? Okay, here's a way to get back to our chamber. Okay. Oh shit, it's Choi. 
truly, we've gone a lot through a lot. Um, trying to rescue you. I hope that uh, your new life is satisfactory. Okay. Yes. Now. Surely. What is up? The transparent form of a girl. Choi's, you realize, huddles here, clutching herself. Her eyes are closed, her breathing slow and even. Other than the rise and fall of her small shoulders, she's utterly motionless. And that makes the sound she's making all the more audible. It is a moaning coming from the back of her throat, a low, guttural sound of fear and pain. It vibrates along your nerves, picking at the corners of your eyes. Your own breath quickens within you. And that ends this episode of the Let's Play. We found Neela Vest. Turns out the solution wasn't as uh, <laughs> hard to figure out as we thought it might be. Just had to put our uh, forehead against the wall there. Makes sense. Makes sense. Some of the lures in the uh, cast-offs, but not necessarily the change, changing god, right? If you're liking what you're seeing, make sure you check out the rest of the uh, playlist. We're playing all the way from moment one of this game all the way until the very, very end. And I'm going to keep uploading these videos. Um, if you like them, give them a like, comment, subscribe. really helps me, helps grow the community, and I want to spend more time with you guys, so... That's exactly what we're working towards. You can find me on Twitch, YouTube, or Twitter. All three, Grizz underscore games with a Z. See you on the next episode. You guys stay beautiful, you grizzly bears, grizzly papas, grizzly mamas, grizzly cubs, dreamers, hipsters, music listeners, philosophers, all of you.